Hello everyone, it's me Ahmed Radwan and today we are going to continue our series PHP from scratch and also we are going to continue dealing with strings but we are going to have a new subject today the subject is regular expressions regular expressions is just a method is just a method to deal with strings to deal with even very complicated strings so and this this method is not only for PHP it's not only workable for PHP it's also available in many many other languages like uh, Visual Basic, C, C Sharp all of these supports regular expressions so let's let me show you something here regular expressions we are going to use signs many signs like the signs you see here but these signs they have different meaning they have different meaning in regular expression for example if I'm going to use this sign the carrot sign it means in regular expressions I'm looking for a character to be at the beginning of the line if I'm going to use a dollar sign it means that I'm looking for a character to be at the end of the line and there are many others also here uh, I, I have to add the curly brackets here they are not there but for when you see this characters in uh, regular expressions you should know they have different meaning so for now don't worry about these things just this is just an introduction once we involved in regular expression you will notice what I mean here you will get ha hands on regular expressions in PHP uh, there are many functions to deal with regular expressions but I'm going only to describe or work with only four of them the four are all of them are start uh, all of them start with break b-r-e-g like that underscore then I'm going to use break we have break match this one function I'm, I'm going only to describe for functions break match and break match all break match it will allow you to search a string for a pattern and for a regular expression pattern and break match all works like break match but this will allow you to search the whole string this this one by default it will search only the or it will search only the or find only the fairest occurrence of the regular expression one more function i'm going to deal with is going to be uh, uh, break replace so this is the third one break replace if i want to replace something something inside the text based on a regular expression i'm going to use break replace break replace break underscore replace one last function one more function is going to be break spell it and from the name you can guess it will spell it a text based on a pattern it works like explode if you are familiar with explode I have a tutorial about that it works like explode you can explode uh, for example this one I want to explode by space so I will have the word spell it alone and then string alone then by alone and the a and so on this is how break spell it works okay so let's go to our I have created our program here I have created a small program you should be familiar with this, this is just a form when a user submit anything it's run it here when a user submit for example Bob here I will say to him Bob that's it it's very simple now I want to use regular expression to match a string or to verify a string in order to do that I'm going to use break match so break underscore match like that and I'm going to use this one the simplest 
here it needs two parameters the, f the second parameter the second parameter is the text I'm gonna search inside it so here I'm going to use I'm go I want to search inside this txt so I will use txt okay that's fine what this pattern the pattern is the regular expression pattern you are looking for so let's take the simplest way of using regular expression in order to use uh, regular expression you have to use either double quotes or single quotes here I'm gonna use the double quotes okay and also you have to use two forward slash two forward slashes like that two by using the two forward slashes like that you are telling PHP I am going to use a regular expression so be careful okay that's fine so now I want the user I want to allow the user to uh, to submit a name or and I want this name to be Bob for example I don't want to submit I don't want him to to use any other word I want the word Bob exactly so I'm going to do what I'm going to say I'm going to say here if break match break match will return either true or false if can find the match it will return true if cannot find the match it will return false so what I will do here I will create if condition I will say if break match of this one of Bob equals equals true I can remove that by the way and I can use only if break match without equals equals true because it means it means the same but just make it like that do something what is something I will say echo correct if the user enter Bob then I'm going to say correct else if and if, if it's another word I will echo else echo wrong that's it very simple I'm starting um, I just want to keep it as easy as possible wrong and let's run it now I'm going to enter 10 let's see oh I have to I want to delete this one I don't I don't want uh, echo text here so I will comment it now let's try again 10 it says to me it's wrong whatever you place here it will be wrong unless you place pub like that and it's going to be correct so this is the, f the fairest or the simplest way of using a regular expression okay so what if someone entered Bob like this one I got wrong because of what because here in the regular expression I'm saying I want small letters all of them small letters so if the, if the case is not important for you it's Bob capital letters or small letters you, you want to accept both either way here after the f last forward slash you have to use the letter I small I like that this small I means what means it's, by the way it's not for regular expression this is PHP this I whatever regular expression is between the two forward slashes after that it's not regular expression but PHP will understand this I means that case insensitive case insensitive so let's try it now I will type Bob with capital B and I should get correct Bob with small b also should be correct Bob with last two all big ca all capital letters also correct so this is a way of uh, matching a text to max ma matching a string against a pattern okay so now what if I want the user I'm going to delete this I I want this user I want I want to allow him to enter any text that must be started with B or M I'm going to use M I want the text to start with M I want the text to start with M how to do that in order to do that I have to use this regular expression 
sign which is called carrot and it's above the, li uh, the, li uh, the number 6 in your keyboard and after that I, I place the character I want I want M so after this I will place M capital or small as I want it's up to me so it means what I want M to be at the beginning so let's try it now I will say here for example Tom it should give me wrong what if I say mom is it going to be wrong or right also wrong why because here I need small m so if I said mom small letters like that uh, this one is correct this one is correct it doesn't matter how many characters after the m for example uh, same uh, whatever you want here as long as it started with the letter m it's going to give me correct if it's not m it's going to be wrong okay that's fine what if i want m and followed by by a i want m or followed by o so easy i just place the letter o so this sign means what the carrot here means what means the beginning of the line at the beginning of the line after that directly find the letter M after that directly find the letter O if it's not matching it's going to give me wrong so here if I already said man like that it's gonna give me wrong but if I said mom it's gonna give me correct I, I hope that is clear okay so let's move to another point I'm going to delete this I'm just will leave the two forward slashes now what if I want a letter to be at the end of the string at the end of the string how to do that easy I want for example the letter N to be at the end of the string so I place this dollar sign at the end of the string uh -huh. be careful it's not before the end it's after the end because this is represents the end of the string or the end of the line so now what I'm telling uh, BHB is what accept any letters or any words or any string that must be ended with the letter n so let's try it now if i said mom here uh, if i said nam for example in a m it's end with m it will be wrong but if i said man here it's end with the letter m so it's going to be correct that's nice so now i'm i use two special characters in order to get what I want now what if I want the letter if I want two letters at the end I want uh, for example a n at the end easy I just place the a n and the dollar sign so if you want to read it correctly read it from right to left not from left to right because this sign is a special sign and it means that this should be at the end so at the end I want N and before the end I want A so let's try it now I will want for example I, I will say uh, ton like that it should give me wrong correct give me wrong if I say 10 like that because it's end with A N it should give me correct so now I have a control of uh, the user on both I have a control over the user on both I can make whatever using reg regular expression and this is just the start this is just the start now we have learned about these two two special characters two special characters the carrot and the dollar sign this one the carrot has a different meaning also but I will show you the other meaning later for now you have to know that if you are going to use this one it must be at the beginning of the regular expression because you are asking about the start of the line if you want to use this one it must be at the end of the regular expression because you are talking about you the end of the line and I hope that was useful for you and thank you very much for watching my video